Hey guys, it's Heather from HMP Artistry, and I am here to show you guys some new fragrance oils that I got from the Flaming Candle Company. Let's see if I can make sure it zooms. There we go. From the Flaming Candle Company. Uh, I ordered wicks from them. I ordered the wick bases from them, as well as a few other fragrances. Uh, the cool thing about this company is I bought some wax from them we recently to test and they sent a fragrance oil sample that was incredible. So I thought, okay, I've got to try them out. All of their eight ounce or larger bottles come with these caps so you can trade them out once you get them. And let's start. I haven't smelled any of these, so this should be fun. Uh, the first one I got was Autumn, uh, Amish Harvest, sorry. I'm not going to edit this video, you guys. I don't have time. Oh, this is nice. It's warm. It has a little kind of caramel-ish kind of smell or kind of a warm-ish smell in the background. It's bath and body safe. And then we have Twilight Woods. This is one of my favorite fragrance oils. Some of these, by the way, are Bath and Body Safe. Some of them are not. Uh, I don't know if it tells me on my list. Let me look and see. Mm, no, it doesn't tell me. I'll have to look it up to find out. Uh, but I know that some are and some aren't, like my caramel is. But Twilight Woods. Oh, and it's nice. It is that same kind of Twilight Woods that you would get from most places. This one doesn't smell quite as sharp as some others do with the um, powdery notes, but it still smells really good. I'm excited about this one. It's Mocha Mint. Oh. Oh, this one smells wonderful. It smells almost like dark chocolate ice cream with mint. Or like a mint chocolate pie. It, that's kind of the smell I get. I don't get as much of a coffee fragrance from it. But oh, it smells incredible. And now I want coffee. And next up, coffee. It's the Coffee House fragrance. Oh. Okay, this smells like a strong cup of coffee. But it also has like some bakery fragrance in the background, maybe a little vanilla, pastry, maple-y kind of background to it, even more than, than the solid coffee. Um, next up is white tea and ginger. Oh, this is really soft. light you it, it almost doesn't smell gingery at first and then kind of in that second smell you can smell the ginger I happen to love ginger fragrances I don't know if it's because I actually like ginger fragrance or if it's because I'm allergic to ginger and I can't have ginger in other things um so I really like it when I get a fragrance oil and last but not least, Salted Caramel. Oh, yes, I could take a bath in this for sure. It smells like the caramel topping on a cappuccino or al almost butterscotch. Not quite, but really close because of the sweetness of it. But these smell incredible. We got Autumn Equin, no, mm, Autumn Nights, I think is what it was called. Um, yeah, I think it was Autumn Nights in our last order. 
as a sample and it smells so good we turned it into wax melts brittle and oh my gosh it is one of the best smells we also got a maple bacon that we made into these in their little jars and oh smells so good my sample is caramel apple oh this is great because a lot of caramel apple or candied apple has a lot more caramel than it does the apple fragrance this one smells like you just cut open a caramel apple it has that sweet tartness of the apple and then this light kind of warmth in the background of the caramel so this is lovely there we go so these are our new fragrances and we will have candles and other products for everyone coming very very soon But this is Heather wishing you luck, love, and a great day, guys. If you've tried this company out, leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought of them. And uh, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. It helps me out. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.